It was our last day of our four day Victorian trip and this video is going to focus on our trip home from Tumut on Bombayali and Brindabella roads over the Brindabella ranges and past the Uriari village twisties. Now we call that the Canberra's old pack and on to Cotter Dam. I was younger then. So why go this way home? Well, to start off with, except for the kangaroos, it's really nice to get onto these beautiful roads just outside of Tumut. And secondly, we've done this exact ride before, but in the other direction heading south. So this would be the first time we've ridden north on this route. And Brindabella Road was actually the first main dirt road that we'd actually done. After riding through a perfectly sealed forest area for almost 40 k's, Brindabella Road turns to gravel. Most gravel roads change with wear and tear. We found that there was a little less thick, deeper gravel on the road this time, but there was still gravel, lots of gravel, loose gravel there. No big deal, easy riding. But the amazing thing is how big these pine forests actually are. The trees on each side of us here, there's new trees, smaller trees, but over to our left is Wee Jasper Road and there's pine forests everywhere there. So this is an enormous pine forest area I did it right I was younger then take me back to when when you ride these roads make sure you ride out front you won't get the dust all over you and the other thing is the front rider disturbs all the butterflies and the rider behind gets hundreds and hundreds of butterflies all over them and so long oh how we've grown but I can't wait the middle section of Brindabella Road has a few sealed corners as you wind down the mountain towards the farmlands. You wind down towards a plateau where we usually stop for a drink and then wind back up the mountain again. The second sealed section takes you down to the plateaued farmland area where we're greeted by a cow roaming the street. Overall, Brindabella Road isn't scenically as pleasing as other rides. Uh, we Jasper, the southern end is certainly a lot nicer, but this was a pretty nice area to stop. By the coast, one or two kids but lives alone. We spoke to the local farmer about his cow roaming the streets. He wasn't concerned at all, he said he'd make his way back, but did say that there was roadworks ahead of us that we had to be careful of. After a short and easy climb, we reached the area where the resting workers were widening the road. country lanes when we did not know the answers and I missed the way. There's plenty of twists and turns on Brindabella Road, but it's definitely a lot smoother than it was when we did it last year. It's a lot smoother because it's been graded. You can see lots of evidence of all the rocks and bits of dirt gravel pushed to the sides of the road and even the cut into the sides of the mountain. Turns out that it's actually been graded all the way back to the sealed section so obviously the workers have got to travel on this section each day so they've certainly made it a lot easier for them and everybody else. As you wind down the mountain of this last section, you begin to get some nicer views again of the mountains far to the left. Another thing you'll notice is exactly how wide this road is. It's very wide. Eventually you'll reach the sealed section of Brindabella Road and this is a fabulous road. The quality of the surface is excellent and the twisties are fantastic. Straight 
strangely near Uriara village, Brindabella Road turns right and Uriara Road goes straight ahead. So this is the turn right Brindabella Road. This is the Canberra's own old pack. This is where a lot of the local Canberrans go on a weekend and cut laps. This is just one of the most magnificent roads. It goes for around five kilometres. Most of it has been resurfaced and the twisty section is now speed limited to 60 kilometres per hour. Wrap me up between your legs and arms Ooh, I can get enough You know you could tear me apart Put me back together and take my heart I never thought that I could love this heart Ooh, I can get enough Ooh, you got me feeling like I wanna be that guy I wanna kiss your eyes I wanna drink that smile I wanna feel like This really is a great surface and it takes you all the way down to a T intersection where you reach Cotter Road and then go on to Cotter Dam. After Tarago, be sure to check out the mostly gravel Lumley Road detour. Fire, you got 